We're getting deep. Do well, you think we should turn back, Lieutenant? We report what? So we found one crop patrol. We're here to locate that muscle. Let's head north. Lieutenant! Lieutenant! Oh. N'ayez pas peur. Je suis américain. Soyez sans crainte, je ne vous ferai pas de mal. Mon copain est grièvement blessé, j'ai besoin de votre charrette. Vous allez nous aider ou non? Oui. Je suis de la résistance, je vais vous aider. Je vous emmenez chez moi. Allez, dépêchez-vous. This man is from the resistance. He's a Frenchman. He's going to take us to his place. We'll be safe there. Hang on. Easy. Rick Jason. And Vic Morrow. Guest star, Louise Reiner. Je te dis où maintenant. Écoutez, j'habite ici et je travaille ici. Les Allemands ne soupçonnent rien, ils seulement boire le vin de ce compte. Lieutenant, il dit qu'il vit ici. Il travaille ici. Il dit que les Germains viennent ici pour boire leur vin. Pourquoi Où sommes-nous Quel compte Où sommes-nous Nous sommes nous Le château d'Armady, qui est parti au compte de roi. Il dit que c'est un château d'Armady, un compte de roi ou quelque chose. Owns it. Allez, venez chez moi, vous serez en sécurité là. Hein? Vous êtes sûr Allez, allez Ah, 
Major Werner. I was not expecting you today. I have a request of you, Count de Roy. À votre service. Somebody's still talking English. Comment se fait-il qu'il parle anglais? Anglais, la seule langue qu'ils ont en commun. This English is the only language the German officer and they can't have in common. Let's go. My dear. Countess. Major Werner has requested we allow him and his men to use part of Chateau Armadi, my dear. It shall be more pleasant if we have your permission, Countess. Doubtless, you and your men will be most comfortable here. Armadi will survive, whatever you say put it to. It will be here long after the wars are over. Long after all of us are gone. Even as it was here long before any of us arrived. Armadi. I promise the Countess my solemn word that we shall treat the chateau and its inhabitants with a due respect. Merci. Oh, of course you and your staff will take dinner with us, huh? We shall be honored, Count. It's always a privilege to dine at Armadi. Uh, Captain Shaver, bring my things, will you please? And uh, Captain Roswell, tell the men to start unloading. I was saying, Countess, it rains. It is beautiful. It rains. I'm glad it passes your inspection. <laughs> One drink, a man acts like a monkey. Two drinks, he struts like a peacock. Three, he roars like a lion. And four, he behaves like a pig. Excuse me, please, gentlemen. Uh, it's just a small matter, household matter. Uh, I'll be right back. May I be of assistance, Countess? No, thank you, Major. You enjoy your cognac. Major, did you know that the tapestry behind me dates back to the 14th century? It was woven by Bataille in Paris. Must be very valuable.
That doesn't look nice. I told you to get me out of here, Cage. Lie quietly. Germans. You want to bleed to death, do you? Germans all over. The Germans are here because we are an occupied country. We have been occupied for two and a half years now. You suffer well in great style. You're insolent. I shall bandage you, and then you will leave as fast as you can. How did you come here? Your man told us we could trust him. He's from the resistance. Oh, Claude. Oui, Madame la Comtesse. You don't seem very happy about it, Countess. Look, I shall do what I can for you. And you go away. The swing is full of germs. We have to get you out of here. They hear you if you cry out. Cry out? The bullet has to come out. These are my private chambers. We are safe here. Uh, Claude, uh, the lamp septic, the bandage, and my pencil. Wait a minute. Cage, where is he going? I told him to get my bandages. Don't be suspicious. I want you well so you can go. This particular champagne yielded an excellent cognac. It is a shame. It's so scarce. For bouquet and body, none can compare. Lieutenant, you've had enough now. Excuse yourself and retire. Oh, I have my yaw. I said retire. Is it mine? I have my yaw. With your permission, sir. Certainly. You asked about the silverware, Captain Roosevelt. It is Lamerie. As you are undoubtedly aware, it represents the supreme accomplishment of the silversmith's art. Where did a countess learn about nursing? In a hospital. I was a nurse before I was married. We also were two years in a war, if you remember. How long ago was that? When I was married, you want to find out my age, huh? I met my husband at the hospital. He was a patient there. So he married his nurse, huh? Yes, he did. He made her very happy for 20 years now. For which the Countess is very grateful. Deeply. <laughs> Your tenant, you happen to be in my quarters. Your quarters? Yes. Ah, oh, Ihr Zimmer. Es tut mir furchtbar leid. I am so sorry, Countess. I am so sorry. It is a mistake. I, I am lost. I cannot find my rooms. Go back the way you came. You're on the north wing. You're looking for the south. Good night, Lieutenant. You may take that. Good 
you must go. I get bandages and you must go. Madame, you said we were safe here on your You're board. not safe. There are drunken officers all over the hall, officers all over the place. If they find that you're here, if they find that I'm helping you, they're going to put a torch to Armandy. This place will be burned down to the ground, gone forever. Just banish me, Cage. Get me out of here. I'm not frightened for myself. Oh, you're frightened for the grand old chateau, the... Yes. Family yes. jewels. Yes. And the... Sun. Yes. Yes. These, these things mean so much to you. Not to me, but to my husband. He was born here. He wants to die here. As did every member of his family before him. My husband does not live with us in the presence. He does not see the German as an enemy. He sees him as a man at arms, but as a guest at this chateau. Without Chateau Armady, my husband will die. Without Chateau Armady tonight, he will die. Center for the 9th Panzer Division. It's going to service the whole sector. Yes, yes. Why? Where? Downstairs in my husband's office, directly below. Have they put up maps? Well, I don't know. They, <laughs> the doors are closed. You must go now. Cage, ask Claude if he can get into the office. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't do that. They would discover him. They would shoot him. Are the sentries? There are three. You can't ask Claude to do that. They would suspect him immediately. suspect you, Countess. You can come go as you please. You could do it. I have to refuse. There are limits. Are there? A man ordered to attack. We're so tired that dropping in the tracks. The doctors who operate all night. Keep on operating while the hospitals are burning down around them. 
for your resistance fighters who are chased into the hills and live on bugs and bare roots. There are no limits, Countess. There are no limits. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Yeah, Ryan. Countess! I was expecting Lieutenant Schaefer. Oh, I can come back. No, please, Countess. Uh, I'm at your service. There's something I can do for you? Yes, sir. The boots and equipment of your men are terrible and are beautiful parquet floors. I'm sorry, I'll have Captain Roswell take care of it immediately. Thank you. Was there something else, Countess? How about a glass of sherry? I have been thinking of you. Today it was so quiet in the park. The trees were so beautiful. And the air so mild. No, no sound from distant guns. Suddenly it felt as though there was no war. No enemy. That's when I thought of you. I thought of that beautiful poem by Goethe that you quoted last night. Oh, yes. That is why I brought you this book from our library, Poems by Goethe. You're very kind, Countess. Well, this isn't... This isn't Goethe. <laughs> it's a handbook for British economics. <laughs> <laughs> How stupid of me. Do you know what it is? It has exactly the same binding as our Goethe. I go and get it. Oh, please, Countess, let, let me get it. It's in the library, behind my husband's desk. All our poetry books are there. You'll wait, won't you? Or what? It could be priceless if we only knew which plan that we're going to use. Plan. Cage. If we could put a tab in their phone line, maybe we could find out. Can you get the equipment? Chloe. Savez-vous s'il y a l'équipement quelconque dans le dans le château pour capter une conversation téléphonique? Oui. oui. Good. Just a moment, Lieutenant. Who's going to translate? Doesn't he speak German? Vous parlez allemand? Non. Oui. Madame la Comtesse, elle, elle parle allemand. Now, Lieutenant. We tap the line.
Major Werner. What is going on? Your men are moving the furniture. That chair belongs in the, in the East Salon. And that, that lamp, it is from Chianceau. Why are you moving everything? I have just sent Captain Roosevelt to inform you. Word arrives that General Kröhle and his staff are on their way here. The men are setting up the appropriate quarters. General Kröhle? Mm-hmm. I hear he has the most wonderful collection of Limery silver outside of France. I look forward to meet him. Here he is. Is he Claude? Oh, uh, le, le, le volet, monsieur le comte, il va tomber. Il faut l'arranger immédiatement. Oui, monsieur le comte. Tout de suite. just heard that General Krill and his staff are on their way. What are you going to do now? What is Claude doing there? We're tapping the German phone line. We'll be discovered. We'll all be discovered. Oh, you are outrageous. I told you I could not do anything more for you. And you behave, you go on as though you could change my mind. Countess, your mind was made up. When Claude came and told you that an American soldier needed your help, and you didn't tell the Germans. A wounded soldier is one thing. Spying is another. I told you I would not ruin my husband's world. What world? Your husband's a sick old man. I'm sorry for him. <laughs> Lieutenant? They're on the line. Major Werner is talking to someone. General Kruger. Kruger is making his headquarters here, he says. We know that. Supply requisition is approved for issue. Rations remain standard. Evacuation policy for the wounded, standard. All unit commanders will execute plan A. Are you sure? Are you sure they said plan A? Yes. When are you going to leave? Page. See if I can get information to uh, our intelligence city underground. Right. So, we prend a message in intelligence? Oui. Says he can. Lieutenant, when are you going to leave? When Claude comes back with the answer. Thank you very much, Countess. Ah. Cage, 
Transcribe the information to the map. Plan A. All right, sir. Lieutenant, why do we have to wait for an answer? I want to find out what the big brass is going to do when they find out that General Crowler is using this Chateau Amadie for his headquarters. And they decide to blow it off the face of the map. Welcome to Chateau Armadi, General Kruller. Thank you, Count I have heard accounts of your uh, Lamery Silver Collection, General. You must see mine while you're visiting. I am interested to know how they'll compare. Does the Countess know the General is here? Oh, I don't think so, or else she would be here. Uh, if you will excuse me, I shall announce your arrival. The Major will show you to your room. Thank you. We'll get out of this somehow. How can you possibly escape with so many officers and men about? There's a good chance we'll all have to escape from here. Lorraine. Chérie. Le général Cléret est arrivé. Girl. Qui sont ces hommes? Des Américains. Speak English. Americans? What are they doing here? Claude brought them in last night. The lieutenant was wounded. Claude belongs to the resistance. Claude and the Countess saved our lives. Why was I not informed about this, my dear? There are Germans in the house. We cannot have Americans here as well. After all, the war still is going on, isn't it? Yes, it is. I did not want to tell you because I did not want to concern you. Mm, that's all right, my dear. Do not blame yourself too much. But this gentleman must have to leave immediately. I regret to have to ask that of you, but I am sure you will understand. Now, my dear, you must come down and greet General Kruller. He has arrived. <laughs> Oh, George, please. George. George! Don't you see what this is doing to him? I'm sorry, but he can't leave here. But he'll say nothing if I tell him not to. Those men downstairs, to him they're neither friend nor foe. They're just guests in his house. General Croyla only means something to him because he has the greatest silver collection in the world. He also commands one of the most powerful panzer divisions in the German army. Armady shall not become a battlefield. Armady has stood through the centuries as a symbol of a world that men are now trying to destroy. A world of elegance and taste. A world of culture that gives man his only lasting consequence. Oh, no. Armady and what it stands for must last forever. 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 It will. It will, George. George, George, it will. Darling, come. Come with me. I've discovered something wonderful this morning. A completely new tapestry. And I have no idea where it goes. Come with me. Come. Come. You must tell me. And I want you to see it. Because I simply don't know. Should we put it into the Great Hall? Or should we put it into the East Salon? Come over and sit down here and I'll bring it. Beautiful. You were right, my dear. 
It is exquisite. Without a doubt, it should hang in the great hall. I knew you would know. I knew it. George, now I have to ask you a favor. Mm -hmm. About the Americans. George, the Germans must not know that they are here. No matter what they are asking, no matter which direction the conversation goes, the Germans must never know that the Americans are here. Do you understand that, George? Do you understand that? Yes, yes, but why don't they leave? They will soon. Please trust me and do what I say. I try everything to hold things for us together. You have, my dear. Sometimes I realize just how much you have. Did he get his message off? Vous avez pu passer le message? Oui. J'ai une réponse pour le lieutenant. Yeah, he did, Lieutenant. He also has a message for you, too. Qu'est-ce que c'est? We'll need transportation. Ask him if he can get a car. Hmm. On a besoin de transportation. Vous avez une voiture, un camion quelconque? Oui, j'en aurai une qui attendra au moulin à 9 heures moins le quart. Oh. Quarter of nine at the mill, sir. What are all these arrangements? What is going on? Tell him we'll meet him at the mill. D'accord. Never mind, car, mon lait. What I'll do. Ask what is going on. At 2100 hours, that's nine o'clock. Our artillery is going to shell the Chateau Amadi. Amadi? Shed? Why? Why? Because it's a German general's headquarters. I had to send that report in. I wish I'd let you die. <laughs> The detail is incredibly fine. Oh. She did not mind the dragon. Tell me your Vienna! Tell me your Vienna! Tell me your Vienna! They found the wire. This is contemptible, that you dare to search these rooms. It's an insult to the Countess and to me. Silence. Your illusion of neurostatic neutrality in this house is over. Someone here has monitored German telephone communications. We intend to find out who. You think I am your spy? Hmm? I think your servant, this Claude, might be the spy. Of course, I don't suppose you know where he is. No. I do not know where he is. Do not leave this house, either of you. Understand? Come to me. Five minutes to get out of here. Let's go. Where are you going? Lieutenant, I haven't told him yet. We don't have time to talk now. Tell me what, Lauren? George, we have to leave. Armadie. Leave Armadie? 
Never. Never. In a few minutes, Amadi will be shared. Four and a half minutes. Let's go. Cage, take him. Penny. Sprechen doch Deutsch. No. Wo haben Sie den Draht gesehen? No. Wo haben no. Sie den Draht gesehen? Is that considered proper behavior for German officers, General? Major Werner believes that this man is a member of the French underground. Claude? I am your spy. Claude, apportez ça, Madame la Comtesse. Vite. the Countess. Since it appears, I will be detained. Do I understand you correctly, Count? You are a member of the French underground? I am. I could not let my servant, an innocent man, be executed for something I did myself. Noblesse oblige. Gentlemen, allow me to be host in my own home for the last time. We can at least be civilized. By all means, let us be civilized. To Armadi. To Armadi. Fills me with fierce pride. 
when the world remembers. It will remember my husband. And all my things.